Hello, hello, hello. It is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for Mini Kit Monday with Becky, Kathy, and myself. I am the Mini Kit Monday host for the month of November. Over at our Facebook group, you can see the photo inspiration that I provided and five tic-tac-toe boards to help you put your kit together. For kit number one, this is all about the Maggie Homes. And using this tic-tac-toe board, and I selected the items on the left-hand side, which is ribbon, punch-shaped, and florals. And I have two photographs that I would like to document this memory about, and I'll come back and tell you about that. I have tile alphas from Maggie Holmes' collection. I have two ribbons there in the right-hand corner, and I have selected three pattern papers from Maggie Holmes products that I had in my stash along with this 12 by 12 chipboard piece. And if you want to know more about the names of the pattern papers and the chipboard pieces, you'll need to go back to my kit review, which was the first Monday of November. I'm going to cut off the branding strip. I chose to use this off-white and mint green stripe as my foundation layer. I am using the heart pattern paper, that dark green that's right in front of you, and this Creative Memories, um, what do you want to call it, Dolly Border Punch. I will punch out four strips. I do not make you watch the entire process, but I just wanted you to see the first strip that I cut out and then I trim that off and it's about an inch and a half. And then I think I took off another quarter inch when I laid it out on my layout, which you will see in a minute. And the length of those strips are about nine inches. So you see I have them laid out right there. And then I decided at this point I wanted some more interest to the background. So I got out some um, packaging and this dilution acrylic paint. And I think it's called teal. I got to find the name. I always have a hard time finding the names. But anyway, it's called, oh, it's turquoise, vibrant turquoise. And I just use the packaging technique or kissing technique. And even though most of this, like 75% of it gets covered up, due to the fact that my photographs are um, pretty large. I think they're five by four and then the other one's three by four. Then I wanted to bring in some white splatter. So I am using the Dana Wakely Medium Gloss Spray in white. I just love this product when you don't want shimmer. Of course, I like my shimmer sprays as well. But I also like this product because it doesn't have any of that sparkliness in there. I'm going to lay out those Dolly banner strips. And I place them about a half an inch apart. And I do check um, the distance and making sure it's somewhat level. It's probably about 90 percent level which is pretty good for me but anyway I use my ATG tape glider to adhere those strip pieces and then I will bring in my two photographs that I did trim down like the largest one is five by five by four and the other one is three by four and I do um, double map those using the back side of of these three papers that I selected out of my stash that are from various Maggie Holmes collection. And so the first matted layer when I bring the photographs in is a mustardy gold and then the opposite side was, um, oh, what are those? Bows, all right? Now, remember on the tic-tac-toe board, I'm to use ribbon, punches, and florals. And of course, you just saw me use the punches. And 
Next, I am going to get out all my ephemera here. And this right here are stickers and rub-ons. And I really wanted to use these rub-ons, but guess what? They didn't work anymore. They're probably, I don't know, five years old and they just would not go on my page. So I had to end up tossing those. As you can see, I used a fluffy, fluffy, a puffy succulent over there to the left. And here is where my video stopped. Somebody was calling in on my phone and I forgot to turn that portion off. So I'm just showing you my clusters here. So in the upper left hand corner is a clear banner sticker with clear flowers on it and a bird. And then I added some word stickers and some hearts and some crosses. And then you can see I did my title there, um, which says editing today. And that's what my photographs are about me enjoying my cup of coffee and editing one of my scrap book layout and then at the bottom I have that um, camera chipboard piece and then layered on top of all those vinyl stickers and then I added some little gold circles and some a gold arrow and then that glitter word today is not from Maggie Holmes that is from an old um, gosh uh, Heidi Swap collection. All right, here are the close-ups. Be sure to go check out Becky and Kathy's channel. I will have their links listed below. Give me a thumbs up. Keep coming back and share my channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.